What's going on, guys? It's King Tuts Pro. Welcome back to another Final Cut Pro 10 tutorial. Guys, before I actually begin with the tutorial, no plugins are required, which is the best part of this tutorial. So I'll have all of the video links down in the description along with the sound effects and everything if you guys want to use it, of course. I'm assuming you guys do want to use that 80s retro kind of um, pop music. And if you guys want to get that music, which is royalty free, a link will be down in the description at the very top where you guys can sign up for a 30 day free trial to Epidemic Sound and it gives you all of the awesome sound effects from the 80s, which is awesome. So um, just sign up with the link and you'll get 30 days of a free trial. So you can always use that and use it in your projects. So uh, like I said, this doesn't require any plugins or any of that crazy stuff. Um, it does require you to have like at least like a logo or something like an 80s logo or a font made in Photoshop or Illustrator and save it as a PNG image that you will have to do separate. I can't like, sh you know, I'll just give you like a random file, but I'll have some fonts down there in the description as well um, that gives you like some 80s fonts. Now, this right here is not a font. This is actually a logo from a band called Electric Youth. And I just thought this would, would look pretty cool with the effect. All right, guys, so the effect that I was inspired from was this one here. I'm gonna mute it for now, but it is by Marla Catherine and her style lookbook is just absolutely amazing. And I just got this really cool inspiration on how to do this a little bit differently, of course, and just giving you this really cool RGB split effect without having any plugins installed, and it's actually really cool. So let's just get right into the tutorial. So the first thing that you will have to do is just download all of the video effects and overlays, okay? And once you import them into Final Cut Pro 10, you wanna drag them into the timeline. You will also need to download this little black bar thing, which is an aspect ratio, uh, you know, layer, which it's pretty much a PNG image. So if I go ahead and transform, you can see that it's a PNG image. And the reason you wanna do it this way is that way you can just overlap it on top of all of your clips. That way you don't have to, you know, rely on changing your project settings and just messing around with the whole entire project because that can be, a nightmare so do that first okay and just overlay it on top of your clip here is the effect okay and i also added the um, sound effect or the music which is called purple voyager a link in the, is in the description and this is royalty free so you shouldn't get a copyright this is also the video that you need to download it's just a grid from the 80s it's retro and it's futuristic i'm going to disable the audio just for now but if i push play you can see how it already has that kind of staticky TV effect, which really makes the effect a lot more cool or and interesting. Now you're also going to need some footage. Um, in this case, you want to work with, you know, a vlog or something. I'm assuming it's a lookbook, but this can be anything. Okay. All right, guys. So once you are here, you want to go ahead and import your logo. So I'm going to go ahead and go up to the top and select this one, which is the electric youth. Like I said, it's a logo. It's not a font. But if you guys have a font or whatever, go ahead and drag this into your timeline below the four by three um, letter box, I guess. And you're gonna have this, okay? Now you wanna make sure that your logo or font or whatever it is, is in a PNG image. That way you can see it like transparent. And uh, go ahead and just make this smaller here. And I'm gonna do something like this. I'm gonna scale it down a little bit more because I'm gonna have the zooming in. So now once I've done that, we're going to have something like this, okay? And I'm going to push play and make sure that it kind of makes sense with the uh, video. So right as the music starts with that beat, I'm going to drag this here so it starts, okay? All right, so once I've done that, what you want to do is to make this a little bit more interesting and a little bit more futuristic is if you can see the background, the 80s, it's kind of going, let me disable the audio for now, but if I push play, it is going backwards, okay, or forward. So we want this to go the opposite way, just to kind of make it look a little bit cool. So I'm gonna click on this bottom arrow here and go to the crop, go to Ken Burns, and while you have your logo or font selected, go ahead and select or click on one of these. So I'm gonna click on the start, I want it to start here and I'll click on the end and I'm gonna make this bigger, all right? So it goes something like this. Now you can play around with this if you don't have it right. So if you click done and we push play, see how it's going with the uh, background. So we don't want it to do that. So all I gotta do is click on this and just reverse it. So now we want it to end here 
Okay, this is where we want it to end, and this is where we're gonna start. It can be a little bit confusing, but play around with it and until you get it right. So now if I push play, it should look like it's going the opposite way, which should be, as you can see. And that just makes it look really, really, really cool. Now, if the font or logo is too big, all you gotta do is go to the transform option and just scale this down. And this isn't gonna affect anything else, so that makes it a lot more convenient, all right? Sweet, so we got that down. Now, for the video portion of this clip here, we're gonna go ahead and start adding some effects. So go to the inspector or the project properties and download this one here, which is the VHS static overlay. And I'll have this link down in the description, like I said, with all the links that you guys need. So import everything and just drag this on top of that clip. Then go ahead and cut it to make it fit to that video. And then we're gonna go into the inspector window and we're gonna change the blend mode to lighten or screen. Uh, I don't know which one looks better. I, I think screen looks a lot more, looks more, more dramatic. So once you guys have this overlay, we're gonna select the video itself. You can see that's a compound clip and this is the raw video. And if I go back, this is what it's looking like so far, which kind of looks already retro. You wanna go to the effects first. So go to the effects and go to all video and audio, and then go down to, I think it's stylize. And we're gonna go ahead and add the aged film and drag that on top of your clip there. And we're gonna change the color adjustment here to zero from one to zero, press enter. That way it doesn't adjust any of your colors. So if I push play, you can see what's happening here. It makes it a lot more dramatic as you can see. And once you do that, you wanna increase the dust and you wanna increase the hairs. And what that does, it makes it look a lot more like it's more old or vintage, which looks really cool. We're also gonna go to the add noise. So we're gonna drag that on top of that clip and we're gonna get rid of the, if we go back to show uh, the film, we're gonna adjust the scratches. We're gonna get rid of the scratches. The scratches are pretty much these lines that appear throughout the video. We're gonna get rid of that. And we're gonna go to the add noise. And in here we can increase the noise or make it less dramatic. I'm just gonna go a very little bit like 0.04, barely noticeable, and you can change the type. So you can do like white noise, or you can do Gaussian noise. I'm just gonna do TV static. So if I push play and make it full screen, you can see how vintage that looks, looks pretty cool. The other thing you wanna add is the prism to get you that RGB split effect, which is the main effect here. And so I'll type in prism and drag this on top of that clip. So this does not require any plugins from any website, which is cool. Everything is done in Final Cut Pro 10 besides the video uh, overlay part. So now we have this, all we gotta do is drag this on top of everything. So I'm gonna change this to, I'm gonna lower the amount. So it's barely noticeable, but not too much. So you can see that there's some RGB split going on here. You can see red and blue, not really noticeable around a hair. So you can increase it a little bit more. And if I push play, there you go. You can kind of see it happening around her shoulders and her jeans right there. So that looks pretty good. Now you can always change the direction, which is what I did. So I'm gonna go to the angle and I'm, I'm gonna type in 180. That way you can see the effect more, so it's more prominent, okay? So you can see it right here between her leg. So if I increase this, you can see how that's taking effect. Uh, I'm just gonna go maybe around seven. Sweet, so you got that done and you're pretty much good to go. Um, now, I didn't obviously show you how to do the TV part of it. Um, that's just kind of like a demo just for you guys, um, what it looked like with the TV, but the main effect is how to do this part, okay, of the tutorial. So that is that, and you can see how it looks like. So now when you have the audio enabled with the music and you have, let's say, I don't know, like, uh, let me go back here. So this is what it would look like when you have everything grouped. Now, if you guys do wanna make sure that you start grouping your clips, if you're gonna be adding more effects to overlay it on top of other effects, or if you wanna zoom it in or cut it out or do whatever you want. That way it applies it to just one clip, it acts as one clip. So now you can see what's happening here. We have the kind of letterbox effects from the sides. Now, if you wanna add an, um, a fade in, fade out, just press command T, that will automatically add an effect or a fade in and fade out transition. And with the audio enabled, which should be enabled, there you go. And we push play. This is what your effect should look like.
Also, guys, if you want to add that kind of um, TV sound when it turns on and off, I will um, have that linked in the description as well. It's like in an album within Epidemic Sound. And I love to add this effect. It makes it more more retro. So if I drag the, I think this one's a turn on. So I'm gonna drag that in the beginning and I'm gonna drag the turn off in the end. So if I push play, this is what it looks like. Looks pretty cool. So now if we go back and we show you the demo of what it looks like with like this retro TV effect and I push play. It looks like the TV is actually turning on. And if we go to the end here, it just completely turns off. So um, to do that, it's actually really easy. All you have to do is get rid of this transition and then just drag this in the end or sort of the end. Let's see. There you go. You can just literally drag it in the end and it will cut off immediately. So that's that guys. If you found this tutorial helpful in any way, be sure to leave a like guys. That'd be awesome. So if this video gets 1000 likes, I will do another similar video like this. So I'll catch you guys next time. Until then, peace out, take care, and enjoy your day.